Jupiter trine Pluto is the third of the three generational planets making a major aspect with Jupiter in 2024. Jupiter in Gemini is trine Pluto in Aquarius. Both planets are in the mental air signs. At a high level, we're dealing with the expansion of communications amongst like-minded groups of people. With a positive aspect between the two planets, there will be an effort to better understand the details. Since Jupiter, the planets of abundance, growth, and expansion recently moved into the sign of Gemini, it will have a significant influence on the world of media and communications. Pluto in Aquarius influences the masses and is favorably inclined towards new technology. How many of us are communicating with new technologies today, ones that didn't exist just a few years ago? Jupiter in Gemini is positively trying Pluto in Aquarius on June 2nd at 1 degree 53 minutes. Jupiter expands everything and takes it to a higher level. Gemini energy wants to explore all the possibilities, while Jupiter wants to discover the unifying truth. Ultimately, Jupiter in Gemini needs to focus on finding which path leads to that truth. Pluto brings about the transformation of the mass consciousness. And in the Earth sign of Capricorn, it transformed our government and corporate structures. Pluto in the air sign of Aquarius will evaluate how effectively those Capricorn structures met the needs of the individuals within society as a whole, both the humanitarian needs as well as the need for freedom and independence. Jupiter trying Pluto seeks to bring hidden truths to light so you can remove the unnecessary and rebuild from a more solid foundation. On a personal level, this transit amplifies your sense of personal power and can intensify your desire to make changes for the better. It may compel you to take on bigger challenges and to feel like the sky is the limit. People or situations that can help you may suddenly appear. While there are more earthly interpretations for this transit, the Jupiter-Pluto trine will also offer you the opportunity to explore the more metaphysical aspects of life. The planet Jupiter can expand your spirituality and belief systems. It allows you to gain a higher level view of the cosmos. The planet Pluto deals with inner transformation and higher consciousness. With this Jupiter-Pluto transit, you may be able to make that higher connection. You may experience coincidences in your life that will bring you important messages. Your spiritual practices may deepen or synchronicities may provide guidance. Use this transit for self-reflection, meditation, or journaling. These practices should help you gain insights into your soul's purpose at this time. The Sun is conjunct Venus, again in the air sign of Gemini. The Sun in Gemini expresses itself through communication, thought, and logic. The Sun likes direct action, while Gemini likes to consider its options. The most effective way to manage the energies of this conjunction is by focusing all of that Gemini intellect in one direction at a time. Venus in Gemini brings out the social butterfly, charming and beautiful, but always moving. Venus in Gemini wants to connect with the universe. The transit of the sun conjunct Venus provides a good time for socialization, making new friends and contacts. The moon is conjunct Mars in the fire sign of Aries. The moon in Aries tends to overreact either with anger or joy. The moon in this fiery sign wants to express its emotions immediately. If it can't, the moon feels anger and frustration. Mars is the ruler of the sign of Aries, which makes it extremely powerful. Aries brings out the expressive, aggressive, and impulsive side of Mars. The action-oriented combination of Mars in Aries enjoys physical activity. The conjunction of the moon and Mars can lead to impulsive behaviors. 
so you'll need to stay in control. Avoid discussing critical, sensitive issues during this transit. Try not to force your opinions on others. Properly applied, this transit will give you the energy to accomplish goals that require hard work and stamina. Mercury in Taurus is sextile Neptune in Pisces. Mercury in Taurus doesn't like to waste energy on chit chat. When Mercury in Taurus speaks up, it usually has something important and well considered to say. Neptune in Pisces is in the sign that it rules. That makes Neptune in Pisces a very powerful combination. It represents a merging of the mystical and the emotional bringing a dreamy and impressionable energy to your personality and experiences. This transit may amplify your intuition, compassion, and creativity. The sextile of Mercury and Neptune stimulates the imagination, although you may feel a bit foggy during this transit. This aspect is applying and will be exact just a few minutes before midnight the same day. At a higher level, you may find yourself turning your attention to spiritual matters. The sextile between Mercury and Neptune should assist you in your ability to communicate from the earth plane to the higher spiritual realms. It is also a good time to study the occult, mysticism, or spiritual metaphysics. In summary, Jupiter trying Pluto is the third of the three generational planets making a major aspect with Jupiter in 2024. Jupiter in Gemini is positively trying Pluto in Aquarius on June 2nd at 1 degree 53 minutes. Jupiter trying Pluto seeks to bring hidden truths to light so you can remove the unnecessary and rebuild on a more solid foundation. On a personal level, this transit amplifies your sense of personal power and can intensify your desire to make changes for the better. It may compel you to take on bigger challenges and to feel like the sky is the limit. The Jupiter-Pluto trine will also offer you the opportunity to explore the more metaphysical aspects of life. You may experience coincidences in your life that will bring you important messages, your spiritual practices may deepen, or synchronicities may provide guidance. Use this transit for self-reflection, meditation, or journaling. The Sun is conjunct Venus, again in the air sign of Gemini. This transit provides a good time for socialization, making new friends and contacts. The Moon is conjunct Mars in the fire sign of Aries. The conjunction of the Moon and Mars can lead to impulsive behaviors, so you'll need to stay in control. Properly applied, this transit will give you the energy to accomplish goals that require hard work and stamina. Mercury in Taurus is sextile Neptune in Pisces. When Mercury in Taurus speaks up, it usually has something important and well considered to say. This transit may amplify your intuition, compassion, and creativity. The sextile of Mercury and Neptune stimulates the imagination. This transit should assist you in your ability to communicate from the earth plane to the higher spiritual realms. It is also a good time to study the occult, mysticism, or spiritual metaphysics. Thank you for watching. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and click the notify bell icon so you'll know when new videos come out. If you enjoyed the video, please click on the thumbs up icon.